Welcome to a very curious place. I look red. <laughs> it's hot outside. And it's dark in this car. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay. I was trying to think if I want to do the reviews. I know I said I was going to stop doing them. But then I decided to I was going to stop doing the Mystery Monday. But then I decided, oh, now it's too bright. Never mind. Then I decided I'd do the Mystery Monday again. So I'm like, maybe I should do the reviews too. I don't know. We'll give it a try and see. Um, the review for this week is, it's kind of like a mix because I was thinking about it and I don't really feel right just doing the review for one of them because you really do need to do it for two for, well, not even for two. There's like three of them and because they're all kind of along the same lines and it's a, like disaster type, almost horror movies that are created because of a natural event kind of thing. Okay, so let me give you an explanation. The titles of the three that we're doing are The Fog, The Mist, and The Rain. <laughs> so, natural events that end up with people dying. Yay! <laughs> I love horror movies, I do. I still feel like I'm too damn dark in here. There, well, split the difference. Um, okay, starting with the fog, because the fog is the oldest out of all of them. Now, there have been two of that movie. The second one isn't important because it's crap. It's just, it's, that's just reality. The second one, which is the most recent one, um, I think was made sometime in maybe the early to mid 2000s. It was complete and utter trash. It, it made a mockery of the original, The Fog, which was a classic. I mean, it, it was a, kind of like one of those cult classic horror movies, I think. These are my opinions. The, everything I put out here is my opinion. But anyway, I believe it was my I, a cult classic. And it was a great movie. Um, it starred Jamie Lee Curtis, her mom, Janet Lee, and Adrian Barbeau. And I'm sorry, I, I love to say Adrian Barbeau's name. Barbo, Adrian Barbo, Barbo. I just love that. It's like the word bougie. I love the word bougie. Bougie, Barbo, Barbo is bougie. Okay, now it's too freaking bright. God damn it. So anyway, but it started. Those were like the three main ones, in my estimation. Okay, and for those of you who don't know who Adrian Barbo is, she was. Um, she was very famous back in like the 80s and the 70s and probably before that. <laughs> that was before my time. But anyway, um, so she was a big actress back in those days. Did a lot of, you know, the cheesier shows, I guess you could say. Now, if you don't know who Janet Lee is, if you don't need to know who Janet Lee is, I'm not sure I can help you. Um, just, it's enough to make a person want to cry. Um, Saying you don't know who Janet Lee is, it's like saying you don't know who Tippi Hedren is. And if you don't know who either one of them are, oh my God, what kind of cloistered life did you live? I mean, for those of you who don't know, Tippi Hedren was the star who was in the movie The Birds, one of the most famous, a famous Alfred Hitchcock movie, okay? And as for Janet Lee, Janet Lee was the actress who made famous the scene out of Psycho, the shower scene. You know, mother isn't quite herself these days. You know, you know, Psycho, that movie. It's both. I, I think Psycho, Alfred Hitchcock too. Brain, I had a brain fart. But anyway, um, both classic horror movies. Different years, you know, and such. Uh, different, around about the same time zone. But anyway, um, big time famous actresses back in their day. Okay, so Janet Lee was in this. I'm, I'm thinking The Fog was back around the 70s. Maybe early 80s. No, I think it was the 70s. Late 60s, 70s. Um, and I, I, I love this because I love these shows because of something coming out of and killing people. Okay, like in The Fog, it's there's something in The Fog. It's something came out of The Fog and killed him. You know, just I love that. I love it. I do. Um, you now, in the fog, they live in a small little coastal town. Adrian Barbo is actually a DJ, and her DJ um, area 
is at the top of a lighthouse, which, I mean, that's just cool. I'd love to live in a lighthouse. But that is, that's cool. So, and the fact that Adrienne Barbeau can climb a ladder in the outfit that she did, which she was wearing like heeled boots and pants that looked so tight that they looked like they were painted on. That is impressive. I mean, it's a, if you have never seen the original Fog, watch it. It's, it's awesome. It really is. So, and apparently this little town was cursed um, because of something that their ancestors did, which was, you know, and it involved a ship that they were supposed to be helping um, get in from out of, out, out in the ocean. They were supposed to light up the, the light with the lighthouse so they could, it would miss the rocks. Well, in turn, what they did was they didn't turn on the lighthouse. They lit bonfires on the beach to draw it into the beach and then wrecked the ship and killed everyone on it. And then what they went out and stole their gold, you know, and all their valuables. And that's what helped make the town what it is. And it's set during their um, anniversary of all this and you know everybody's all hyped up and they're throwing a party and ooh, it got dark into the bridge but, um, so yeah they're they're doing this they're throwing a party it's a big town thing and everybody's excited uh, until the fog starts to roll in you now the fog starts to roll in and the people start dying it's like the the chime of midnight every night there'll be a knock on the door don't open the door <laughs> You don't want to know what's on the back out, outside the door. But, you know, they open the door. The door gets open. Somehow, the, the things from in the fog get in, and they kill the person. And, you know, I hate to tell you the end. I mean, this movie's been around forever. So, I mean, technically, you should have known what the end was. But, basically, it's the, the people, uh, the dead from this ship, they're coming back to get their gold and to get their revenge. And um, against the townsfolk that were related to the original members of the town council back in those days that were responsible for them dying. That's the whole premise of the movie. But it's just like, it's, I love the fact that, you know, there's something in the fog. Something just came out of the fog, grabbed him and took him, you know. And uh, back when this was made, Jamie Lee Curtis was still very young. I mean, she was like... I'm trying to think if she was like late teens, very early 20s. She was young. I mean, you watch the movie, you'll see how young she was. So, and Janet Lee was still pretty, pretty, uh, pretty young back then too. So, um, but I, I love that movie. It's awesome. It's one of the better older horror movies. Even though you know the the filming was kind of cheesy, it's still awesome. And, and I love it. I watch it repeatedly. I've watched it over and over and over again throughout the years. I do wish it was on Netflix. But after a while, if you watch something on Netflix too much, it takes it away. And I'm just like, because I used to watch Stakeland a lot. I watched Stakeland and Stakeland 2. Stakeland 1 was my favorite. Well, I apparently watched it so much they took it away. And now they've taken away Stakeland 2. And I'm just like, assholes. So, but anyway. And then there was The Fog 2 that was the most recent one trash it was it was trash it, it I watched it once and I barely got through it it was trash some people might like it if you've never seen the original fog you might actually like the second one but if you've seen the original fog and you love it you're probably not gonna like the second fog it just that's just reality so and it's just it it it's lacking something you know, and I, I don't know what it is, but it's whatever it is in that movie. Cause John, the fog was a John Carpenter movie and I'm not sure if he had anything to do with the second one. He might have, he might not have. If he did, shame on you, John Carpenter. That was bad. If he didn't, then that's why it was bad. You know, um, but, uh, but yeah, so, um, it was just, it was just, the second one was just terrible. I, I watched it that one time, barely, and I will not watch it again. You know, I just, I won't. So, um, and the next one on the list is The Mist. 
okay now this was a Stephen King short story I think it was back in the day there's a lot of Stephen King stuff floating around you'll have to just bear with me um, back in the day back years ago um, it came out as like a movie just like a made-for-tv movie I think it was um, I don't think it was ever maybe it was in the theaters I don't remember it being in the theaters um, and I watched it and it was this group of people that get stuck inside the store by this fog and uh, not the fog there's this mist it's basically the same thing as the fog it's it's a mist it's like a fog but, but they call it a mist so anyway it's they get stuck in this building in the store um, because of the mist and there's something in the mist that if you get into it they will kill you or if you get close to it it will reach out and kill you grab you kill you um, and you go through the whole story and you don't know what's in the mist and but people just keep dying it's like there's something in the mist and it reminds me of the fog maybe that's why I like well, like the first one I didn't like the ending of the first mist but it was like you know, there's something in the mist there's something out there what's out there there's something moving out in it and you can't they never know during most like maybe almost almost the entire movie you don't find out till like the very end what's in the mist and I'm not gonna tell you but you don't find out to like the very end what's in the mist and it's um you go through the entire movie going what's out there what's in it it's something moving I see something moving I see it and you, you spend the entire time and they try and get out and they try and figure out ways to get to their cars and so on and so forth and it's like and every time someone goes out the things in the mist kill them but you never find out what it is and then at the very end you've got one carload of people left really you're gonna stop now I've got this car riding my bumper Oh, I think it's a bus. Anyway, so you've got one car load full of people. It's maybe like six people. And uh, at the very end, that's all that's left out of a building full of people. That's all that's left. And at the very end, the, everybody's dead but one person. Uh, so at the very end, you find out after everyone but that one guy is dead about, because, you know, I'm not going to get really head up on spoiler alerts because this show is old just like the fuck it's old folks so I won't tell you the exact specifics of it but I will tell you that everyone's up dead but that one guy and I won't tell you what one guy that is because quite frankly I don't remember his name and I don't remember the actor who plays him I can visualize him in my head but that's about it so he is um, the last one left and as he sits there in the car with these five dead bodies that's from that um, of people he can see what's in the mist and I'm like, I look at that and I'm like, okay, first off, crappy ending. Everyone's dead but him. Crappy ending. And then you see what's in the mist and the first thought that came to my mind is, what the fuck? How do you miss things that fucking big? They're huge. <laughs> Seriously. It's not like little bitty thing. It's not like pirates in the, in the fall coming out to kill you. It's, they're not small. They're freaking like buildings. I won't say what they are, but they're huge. And it's like, they're huge things the size of like big skyscraper buildings in the mist. No one can see them. And yet they're out there killing people. How do you not see that? I'm sorry. How do they not just step on the building and say, ooh, look, look, see, you know. That is, the, the size different is equates to like a human being and a cockroach. Seriously. I'm just like, are you kidding me? And then, for some un unknown, god-awful reason, they decided to do a remake of it. And they decided not to do a remake into a movie and just get it over with and done with and not do it anymore. No, they want to do a mini-series. They want to do like a series, seasons. They, they want it long-term. And I'm just like, are you, f oh, oh, oh. oh Lord. <laughs> so I tried to watch it. I did. I, I, I've been trying every so often to watch some of it. And I gotta be honest, it's not going well. It just isn't. Okay, first episode, the first thing that came to my mind is, it's this man and a woman, so it's a couple, and they've got a teenage daughter. 
that kid is the whiniest kid I have ever seen in my life. Hates her mom. This is all your fault. Everyone knows it's all your fault. You did this. And I'm just thinking, what the hell did this woman do? You know, did she have an affair? Did she kill somebody? You know, what did she do? And I still don't know what she did. <laughs> The very first first part you see is you see this soldier out in the woods. And this is why one of the reasons I've had such a hard time dealing with it is one of the first things you see is you see an animal get killed by the mist. And then this soldier just freaks out, takes off running for town. And, um, you know, he's trying to tell them. I think it's like later in the first episode or the second, beginning of the second episode, somehow in there. He's trying to tell the townsfolk about all this. He's like, there's something in the mist. There's, there's something in the mist that kills people. It killed it, you know, and they just think he's nuts. So they throw him in a cell, <laughs> real bright, um, you know. So the kids griping and complaining and whining and just, oh, and just generally hating on everybody except the cute boy at school because he's just awesome and I don't love him. I don't remember what it was like to be a teenager but I'm pretty sure I was never that annoying. I mean I'm not positive but I'm pretty sure. So anyway um and then it shows like the father and the police and uh some other men and they're standing out like in front of the police station when the mist starts to roll in. And all the other guys are like, yeah, it's just a mist. And they go in the building. Well, this one guy decides, I'm gonna stand out and take a picture for my missus. If I don't take a picture for my missus, she's gonna be mad. And so he's taking a picture. He's surrounded by the mist. And then the mist decides to eat him. Now, my problem with this is that, and this is really early in it. So, I mean, I'm not telling you anything you're not gonna see like really early in it. I'm not doing a spoiler alert. Maybe it is, I don't know. But anyway, it's like really early in it and this cop is standing out in the middle of the mist and if you were squeamish about weird things like insects or snakes or stuff like that, you're not gonna, you're not gonna do well with this show because I'm a bit squeamish, not about snakes or lizards or anything, but I'm squeamish about insects. I don't, I'm getting better about it, but I still don't like if they touch me. <laughs> I can be in the same room with them. Just don't touch me. You know, just you know, with the little legs and, and no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. I can be in the same room. I can even be right next to them. Just be like, oh, hell no. Mm. As long as they don't touch me, I'm good. <laughs> the minute they touch me, it's game on. I'm shrieking. I'm flinging myself in the air, you know, which is a, a amazing thing. But, you know, yeah, so, and I'm just like, you know, I lose it when they touch me. So, but this cop is in the mist, taking a picture for his wife, and he ends up covered in cockroaches, and they kill him. Or at least I'm assuming they kill him, because he started screaming, there was, I, I saw blood, and the minute I saw cockroaches, I went, <laughs> And the minute I figured out that they were eating him, I went, and then I turned it off. <laughs> I was like, oh, hell no, I'm done. We're done. Now that's it. But I will say this just from, I gave myself a headache doing that. Oh my God. <laughs> that was not good. But anyway, just from what little I watched, I have to say, no, <laughs> just, just no. Um, I, I liked the first one, the move first missed pretty good. I, I w it wasn't one of those. It was what I call a one and done. You watch it once and then you're done. Now the second one, I'm have, I didn't, haven't even made it through the entire season. I haven't even made it through half of the first season and I'm just like, oh my God, I hate it already. There's a straight trooper in front of me, so I have to be nice, but yeah haven't even made it through I haven't even made it through a third of the season a fourth of the season hell and I'm just like I hate it already I don't I don't want to watch this anymore I, I don't and I haven't yet either so I turned that off and I turned on the, the rain <laughs> so I'm like 
this sounds like more fun. So anyway, moving on to the rain. Um, the rain is set. I've been trying. And I, they don't really specify exactly where you start out. It's like Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, that little area over there. That sounds terrible. Um, it's over in that general area of the world. And I think it's Norway. But um, I don't really remember them ever specifying. They show like maps, but you know, they don't really tell you where they started off or where they're at. They just say where they want to go. So it's like, it doesn't help. You know? And even, not that it really would help anyway, because I don't know any of that area anyway, so that wouldn't help me. But um, basically, the rain starts out, and this is a Netflix original. And it is a season, it is seasons. So, and right now on Netflix, they have all of season one, and I have watched it all, and I'm just like, oh my God, now I've got to wait for season two. Damn it. So it's good. Um, I didn't, I, I really had doubts about it at the beginning because it started off, again, two whiny kids as opposed to the one whiny kid in the mist. So it was two whiny kids in the rain. And what happens is this father, it just, it shows this girl, the older girl, she's a teenager. She's going to go do a school project and suddenly her father's there and uh, he's yanking her out of school saying, no, you've got to come with a, come with me. We, you've got to, we've got to leave now. <clears throat> and it shows them just taking off down the road. And uh, you hear stuff on, on the news while they're listening to the radio in the car, talking about the rain and how there's something in it. And it's making people sick. And, you know, everybody, the kids are all in the car going, what's going on? What's, what, what's going on? Where are we going? Why are we leaving? You know? <clears throat> and so he never really tells you anything. There's this danger in front of me. I should behave now and pretend I'm not making a YouTube video in my car. I'm pretty sure it's frowned upon. <laughs> Film while you're driving. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it probably is. Not only that, I don't want to, you know, piss off the nice day trooper. <laughs> Yay, me too. Okay, but anyway, so, um, it shows them traveling down the road and everything, and all of a sudden, the road is blocked. They can't get, go anymore. And there was a wreck or something. And, uh, so he's like, get your stuff, get out, run. And he takes them on this mad dash through the woods and they end up at a bunker, which is just a little bit of concrete above the ground. And the rest of it is like buried deep underground. And he accesses it and it's like fancy you know, high tech stuff. And it's, it's the, the, the parents and the two kids, a girl and a boy. And, uh, you never really get like, you get kind of like a general idea of age wise. I mean, the oldest girl is in high school, probably like ninth, tenth grade. So, um, and the boy, you never really get a get an exact idea of how old he is. I mean, just you figure he's around, you know, higher inter elementary school age, lower intermediate. So that probably doesn't help. But um, so yeah, and uh, so then the father says, "You have to stay here. I have to leave." Okay. And, uh, so he gets on one of those, uh, hazmat suits and he's gone. And, you know, of course, kids, you tell kids to do, don't do that. And they do the opposite of it and they go ahead and do whatever the hell they want. Well, at this point they do that and it's bad. <laughs> I won't tell you the specifics, but their father and the mother both say, don't open the door to the bunker. Now, why they didn't have it set up to where, you know, they could lock it to where, you know, they couldn't open it, you know, but they didn't. So, and the first thing that happens is apparently someone had followed them from the highway and uh, came to the bunker and starts banging on the door. So what does the little kid do? He goes and opens the door and there's something in the rain that basically affects people and uh, kills them. And I mean, it's not a pleasant death. It's like, you know, seizing and, you know, foaming at the mouth and dropping to the ground. And it's highly contagious. Um, and any kind of touching of water, if it gets on you and on your skin in any way, you're dead. 
um, you step in a puddle and gets a little tiny bit, even a, just a tiny bit on your foot, you're dead, you're infected. You will eventually start seizing and you will eventually die. So, but the funny thing is it does not affect the animal or plant life. It only affects the humans. So, and that's the funny thing. It only affects humans, it doesn't affect any animals, no plants, the crops still grow, the animals are still thriving. You know, um, that's all great. But, um, you know, so everything else is fine. It's just the human beings that it kills. Um, and so, and it's, they say it's like in a controlled area, like a quarantine zone. They've built this big wall to block off this area. So, and from what you know is that they live for six years in this bunker. And you, you don't really hear anything else. You just, it just kind of speeds up and shows them through time as they age and living day to day in this bunker. Just the, just them. So, you know, it's like, um, and then it hits a point where it's like, they're running out of food. They're almost out. They gotta go. They have to find food someplace. Um, their dad never came back. So they're like, is he dead? Is he someplace? We don't know. You know, and as any normal apocalypse movie, you have to travel through this apocalyptic world um, in hopes of getting to your goal. And, you know, good luck. So, and that's what it is. That's how it starts out. And that is the thing. They have set out from the bunker to find food and to fight their dad. You know, so... Um, <clears throat> and it just takes you through through the that's what the first season is it takes you through that to where you know the end and then it kind of just leaves you up in the air on the end and they won't pass me so it just kind of leaves you up in the air at the end it was just kind of like okay what now you know and uh, so that's interesting it's very very interesting you know and I really did like it. And, you know, there's, I, I, I like the newer stuff. And I tell you what, and here's the sad thing. Most of the newer stuff that's really good and really, you know, of entertainment value is not coming from the U.S. It's coming from other countries. Because the U.S. right now, they're making remakes. Making remake of this, of that, you know, and, and, they're not doing good jobs. I mean, the newest thing they're talking about doing a remake of is Charmed. And none of the original actors are going to be in it. I'm sorry. What was that? No. And I saw a preview of it. Mm -mm. No, I'm not even going to bother watching it because I'm just like, no, it already looks like crap. And I'm just like, I don't understand why we can't make new stuff. Why do we have to keep making remakes? Yes, I know that the original one made money. But just because the original one made money doesn't mean that the remake's going to make money because y'all are fucking them up constantly. So, mm, it doesn't work like that. So, the fact that, you know, these other countries are coming out with decent content is fantastic. Because, um, I mean, it might be a Netflix original, but it's actually based and filmed, as far as I know, in another country because they all have, like, different accents you know and um, and uh, so it, it it is very interesting um, I'm not entirely sure why the US only wants to make remakes I don't know why so I guess we'll just have to kind of live with it until they pull their heads out their butts so but the fog the mist and the rain the fog one the fog the first one big thumbs up fog the second one big thumbs down the mist the first one it's kind of in the middle you <laughs> know it's not a thumbs up or a thumbs down it's just kind of like a eh, maybe once yes. as for the second mist the series seasons the series if you can get through it god bless you i can't um i just i can't do it it's i just don't like it um as for the, the rain, 
big thumbs up i love it and because it is the first and it's not a remake you know that automatically that it's new content that's a great thing to me so yeah those are great things so check them out let me know how you like them and i hope you like this review um that's about it and i'm almost home so as always much love for monte in a very curious place stay straight bye